heart It's a mystery But my love just won't set me free It only happens When I look at you
Tell you now what's on my mind We've been at this for some time And I just want to know If your heart is feeling just as strong as mine Cause even though we got some years in this It's always brand new to me You see the butterflies, my palms get sweaty My thoughts and my heart's heavy You got this kind of effect on me So maybe we can, we can sit down and just wind down and speak of all the many reasons why we stick around. Why we stick around? 
thank you all for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. We've come to the last few tables um, to get their food. Once everybody settled down for a bit, we will start the rest of tonight's program. So again, thank you all for your patience. I hope the food looks good. And if we plan to take away, please wait until everybody's eaten. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you for your patience. This line has semi completely died down, so if you are still hungry and feel the need to go and grab some food, please help yourselves. There's plenty of food in that to go. We're going to start the program in about five, so if you do need to go up, please by all means do so. Thank you again for your items. If you haven't seen the DJ about your music, you will be performing a cappella. So if you please, if you if you need to give the DJ your music. Please come and communicate your intentions to the DJ. Thank you.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we can please find our way to our seats. We are going to kick the evening off with our speeches and our items. Before we do, ladies and gentlemen, can I please get a massive round of applause for our caterers? If you haven't tried the poke already, please try the poke. Our first speech for this evening, ladies and gentlemen, comes from the groom's friend. Can you please put your hands together for Stedman? Hello um, love everyone, my name is Stedman. Um, I'm one of um, Zaun's um, close childhood friends. Um, this speech will be on behalf of our boys here, um, who Zaun is in our group and um, what Zaun means to us. Uh, I was told two days ago that I was be doing the speech in front of, um, oh, he didn't tell me in front of how many people, but that's pretty much who Zaun is, you know, he will, um, for us under the bus, make us look dumb so he can look smart. That's what. That's what, that's what. Um, when Zaun does that, even when we get into little arguments here, um, when he starts um, losing, he'll bring up his um, education degree. So I don't know why he brings that up. His um, degree won't um, block his jaw from my overhand. I don't know. Um, growing up, um, Zaun was. Um, he was the also of us that never really got in trouble. Um, he was always around us. Um, you know, he was in school. He was the only prefect that all of us. So he will hang around us everywhere after school, school, rugby, gym, and just before we we're about to get in big trouble, then he would disappear. So I don't know if that's knowing wrong from right or he would been sitting us up this whole time. I want to shout out Zaun's parents as well, um, Jenkins and Vera. Uh, us boys hanged around Zaun's house a lot growing up. That's where we got to meet um, and got close to the old also Jared. Uh, especially me and Queenie. He was the only one that had Wi-Fi, so we were always there. Uh, we, we wasn't there just to hang out with him. You know, Jenkins, um, he always picked us up in his car with Zaun, Jared. Never complained. Never asked for anything, so, so I was, everyone knows about the infamous, you know, Toyota Stemma van they had. You know, you could hear the car before you see it, so that was. Uh, on behalf of all the boys, um, just want to thank Zahn for being a loyal friend, you know, for all these years. Um, you know, we, one thing about Zahn that we admire, you know, he did it his, what he felt was the right way, you know. Uh, Never lost to peer pressure, temptation, never smoked, drank with us. Uh, we never, that's one thing, we never saw him ever get tempted to, you know, turn. You know, he always knew what he wanted, waited for his um, beautiful wife, so, you know, mad respect for Zhang for doing that. You know? uh, I want to wish Zhang and his beautiful wife the best for the future on behalf of us boys. Um, I heard, you know, once you get married to your wife, you divorce your mates, so Manguelo Malanga also. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for statement, please. It's the typical, it's the typical speeches that, how do I say it? It's not even that. It's really cool to see that boys and that who are still boys from high school can still be boys to their adult age and support each other in whatever it is that they do. Um, like uh, Mouse here mentioned the parents. Um, for anybody's parents and that who have invited their children's friends into their homes, thank you for being a safe haven um, for, all, for all those kids. I wasn't one of those kids. Nobody was allowed in my house. But <laughs> to stay at the alleyway. Well, all good. I'll just tell you guys when to come. Um, again, ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Stedman, please. Our first item of this evening
comes from the beautiful Tsetse family. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the Tsetse family. Ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, um, I have just been put on the spot to say something very short and simple before we um, deliver our message via a special song. Um, we are the TCC sisters, we're, we're uh, Zion's first cousins, um, and then for today we have our honorary Anisi TCC brother here who has stepped up to the plate because all the other cousins chickened out. Um, but, Zion, Lily, we wish you a wonderful journey together, and um, this is dedicated to you guys. Testing. Oh 
Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the TCC family, please. I'm sorry, sis, I should have waited till you finish eating and then sing the song. I got us. Ladies and gentlemen, our next speech of the evening comes from the maid of honor. Please put your hands together for Edwina Puna. Hi everyone, thank you to the Tessese family for their beautiful item. It was so beautiful, I almost didn't want it to end. Um, hi everyone, so for those who don't know me, my name is Edwina, and I was blessed with the honor of being Nelise's maid of honor. Um, I would like to extend a warm welcome to everyone who has come to witness the union of Lily and Zion. Um, I thank God that he has granted us all with the gift of life, especially during times like this where we get to celebrate love as part of his plan and purpose that he has for each of our lives. Um, Lise, thank you for blessing my life in so many ways. Thank you for the blessing of fellowship. Thank you for the blessing of sisterhood. Thank you for blessing me with years of wisdom. And thank you for being in my life and loving me unconditionally. Um, a bond like ours is the true definition of sisterhood. You're the sister that I've always wanted. So a little backstory of Nelisa and I's history. Um, we met each other through church from a very young age. I believe it would have been three and four years old. So it's been a few years now, um, but we did, we did everything together from singing, leading, camping, attending youth and performing Indian dances for our families. Um, Nelisa has always been a performer and a star of the show. I remember that she would always orchestrate the greatest shows and performances that we would showcase to our families and sometimes even to church as well. We had a rule back in the days. Um, for those of you who have seen High School Musical, she was always Gabriella and I always had to be Sharpe. <laughs> I was only ever allowed to be Sharpe because Nelly said had to be the leading hand in whatever it is that we did. Um, it wouldn't be a wedding without a small embarrassing memory, so. I remember one day after church, we went back to my house, and during this time, Nelisa was actually banned from social media. Um, banned to the point where she actually had her phone taken off her, so she had no way of getting online. Um, luckily for her though, I had a computer at my house where she could log in through social media, um, and we spent so much time on there to the point where Auntie Gloria had to come to my bedroom window and poke her head in and be like, Nelisa, what are you doing? So, Zion, if Nelisa is anything like her mom, you cannot hide anything from her. She will always find everything out. Um, she is full of color and life, and she has a sharp mouth and brings about the best jokes. She is loving, caring, and has the biggest heart for those who are in her life. Zion, you've been blessed with the best, and I wish you good luck as you step into the marriage with the firecracker that Nelisa is. Um, both Lisa and I grew up with one older brother, so with us being the youngest girls in our family, this naturally made us the princesses of our family. Um, and still to this day, I know for a fact that she wears that title with pride. Lisa, this special day marks the day that you transition from being a princess into a queen, and I have a few reminders to carry with you on this journey. Number one, you are valuable and worthy of all the love that is given to you. Be receptive and open to this. God has blessed you with a partner who he knows will shower you with the unconditional love that you deserve. Honor God and his gift by showing your gratitude through your commitment and gratitude throughout your marriage. Number two, center God in your life and commit everything you do to him. Serve your life in this marriage as an offering to him and it will no doubt be as fruitful as the love that you put in. Number three, Remember that you are always loved. 
You are surrounded by a community of family and friends who have been placed in your life to ground love and center you. Um, I distinctly remember us talking about this very moment as kids um, in the fort that we made out of dining table chairs and mink blankets. We talked over this very moment and we argued over who would get married first. She won. <laughs> and about who would look prettier and all the little things that girls discuss when it comes to marriage. Time flies and this moment has finally come. It has been my greatest honor standing here beside you on your special day. In the moments I've spent watching your stress leading up to this day turn into smiles as you soak in the fruits of your labor, my heart is filled with joy knowing that you've accomplished this milestone. You, just, you are so deserving of this all. To our brother Zion, good luck. I'd like to leave you both with a Bible's verse that I hope you'll anchor your relationship with. 1 Corinthians 13, verses four to eight. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, and it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, and it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. and Zion, I'm wishing you guys the greatest of love and blessing with many more years to come. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. One more time for our maid of honor, please. Our next item, ladies and gentlemen, comes all the way from the kingdom of Donga. Please put your hands together for Amitia Fifita. Before Amatia will come and uh, present uh, the item for us uh, this evening, I would like to <clears throat> say a few words um, before uh, I um, invite my my niece here to come and uh, to uh, and, uh, the entertainment. <clears throat> um, when I was teaching in Tonga. I was, I was appointed to go to an island, the farthest island in the kingdom, which is close to Samoa. And it's only about um, 16 hours from there to Samoa by the ferry. Um, every week, every day when I was in there, I most of the time switched to the um, Samoan radio station. And um, <clears throat> I come to realize some of the uh, Samoan language. And the language that I still remember from there was, it, it went like this. It goes like this. I don't even know what does it mean. <laughs> but that's what, that's, that's all I knew from there. So... I didn't know that I practiced my Psalm 1 language from that island, that one of my family members would become a Samoan, which is today. So, um, where my mom comes from, is come, she's come from the island of Lofanga. Is there anybody here from Samoa, from the village called Lefanga? Because I'm going to tell a story about it. Does anybody know the, uh, the village in, in Samoa called Lefanga? So I think you guys from not from Samoa, I think, yeah? So let, let me tell you the story. Let me tell you the story. Uh, there is a handsome man from Samoa. His name was Sinilau. All right? He came all the way from Samoa 
and live in the island of Lofanga. And how that name become Lofanga? Because he came from Lefanga. So that island was, um, um, Sinila was because he's so handsome, he, covers, he covered himself with the Tongan oil. A coconut was boiled and mixed with uh, some of the, uh, the, 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 the uh, 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 what you call, uh, fragrance um, roots that he found on the sand. We call it in Tonga Paco. Everybody say Paco. Everybody say Paco. Come on, you're hopeless. Come on, say Paco. So it, it happens in Tonga when you get fat, you don't, don't, you don't want to talk. So, <laughs> so, and then this was like, um, he made that oil, so, and he rubbed it with his face. And every time he went out to the sea, to the beach to wash himself, that oil from his face stained on the beach. And the beach in Hapai, in Tonga, we call it Fanga. Okay? So, and then we call that beach, that island, Lolo He Fanga, or what's the name from the village in Samoa? Eh? Le Fanga. So, and then, because it's too long, to, to say Lolo e Fanga, okay? From this is when Lolo e Fanga from Sinilawi's oily face. And then we shorten it up and we say Lofanga. You get where I'm coming from? Eh? Do you see where I'm coming from? So, <clears throat> and then Sinilau lived in that island of Lofanga and his and where he planted his plantation was called Nuku. I want to tell the story. You're going to pay me more. Okay? So, and his, where he planted his plantation was, his, that place was called Nuku. But there is a kind of birds that we call Lofa. And Lofa is where, when it, it appears in the skies in that island, it shows there's a disaster, natural disaster is coming. So, and from there, he called, remember this guy is from Zamoa, Sinilao. He called his place where he planted his plantation, Nuku Alofa. Do you see where I'm coming from? And the capital of Tonga is what? It's Nuku Alofa. Come from that island. From the Samoan man. All right? And then that's where we got, see, guys, you got two lectures today. The name of the island was Lofanga, was named from where Sinilao came come from. And the name of the capital of Tonga, Nuk Alofa, where is the place, or I call it, I put it in, in this easy translation, which is mean the village of the Lofa. So there are other stories about it. It's a different story, but this is how, where I'm going to read us today. Okay, <clears throat> so from there, then we come. When I went to the island, Niwa Toputapu, and then from Niwa Toputapu to Tafahi. Tafahi where the, the Samuan Tevolo, <laughs> Samuan Tevolo. We're trying to steal the island because that island was the that mountain on that island was higher than the mountains in Samoa. And those Samoan Tevolo, they want to steal the top of that island. And when the sun comes up, so they said, no, let's drop it because otherwise the Tongan Tevolo will see us. Eh? So, and then the Samoan Tevolo were afraid of the, Sam, uh, the Tongan Tevolo, so they dropped that island where that island I was, which is called Tafahi. And Tafahi is only 16 hours to Abia. Do you see where I'm coming from? Eh? Do you follow me? Hey, do you follow me? Oh, come on. That's pathetic, man. That's hopeless. That's hopeless, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's why I'm coming to say
that the salmon people always love the beautiful tongans. My second story is my my second story is because it's related it's related to someone. Okay, yes, bear with me. When you give me the mic, I will be the boss. <laughs> so, <clears throat> my second story is my second story is everybody say fala. Come on, everybody say fala. <laughs> Mali, Mali. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Ametia Fifita. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Amitya Fifita, please. Can I also get a round of applause for my uncle Vikini, who opened that with a beautiful speech and a story? Make some noise for my uncle, man. Far. Hey, if you guys didn't know, a lot of what he was saying was true. I could justify that because that's where I'm from. My, my granddad is from Lofanga, and they're both from the Newas, the most northern islands in, um, in Tonga, both Newa, Toptapu, and Newa, for oh, Waikotokomea and Fungavailahi. All right, that's, that's where my family is from, and that's, and that's my nana. Just, just, just putting it out there, that's my nana. I thought he was going to continue his story and say that the Tonga and Samoan had some type of relationship, and these two were going to be related, but I was like, oh, lucky they did we keep that to another. Hey, you're still Mate Matonga for life. You guys already know that, all right? One more time for that beautiful item, ladies and gentlemen. Our next speech this evening comes from the best man. Please put your hands together for Mr. David Ryan. Yep. Awa wa liaim lene asma matungo fiemo o zion malili moje fatalo fatu la sunga pastor joe malifalitua 
o te fata la fata foi matua o zaion maluli mo o le fa fa o malau speech ile fa pertania first and foremost I just want to uh, praise the Lord um, our God for for gathering all of us here today uh, I want to say oh, I want to acknowledge Pastor Joe Sese uh, thank you for leading today's word. I also want to acknowledge the parents of our newlyweds, um, as well as both families uh, who are all present, uh, who are all present here today. Um, as mentioned, my name is David, and I'm one of Zion's good mates, um, and I have the privilege of being um, his best man. Um, I've known Zion since kindergarten through to primary at Popto West, and then intermediate at Kidley. Um, we then went to different high schools, uh, but we kept in um, close contact through playing footy together uh, for the Mangalese talks. Uh, we were even blessed to graduate university at the same time on the same day. Um, so yeah, it's safe to say that I know Zion really well. Uh, but for those of you who don't know Zion that well, all I can say is that Zion is a boring guy. Yeah. And I mean that respectfully. Um, Zion is someone who doesn't follow the crowd someone that, isn't, uh, that is willing to save his money, someone who is relational and always has time um, for a conversation, uh, someone who doesn't rush into situations, but is uh, patient and thinks before acting or reacting, um, and all these other boring qualities. Uh, but these are what makes Zion who he is. You know, the world says that Zion is boring, uh, but Zion is just being Christ-like. Zion shows the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control all in his own way. I remember when, um, when we played footy together, Zion's nickname for our team was Pastor Zion, and they, because he was always the one praying before our team games. Um, I remember going to the mall of Zion with um, some of our friends um, and having to stop and sit because he was having conversations with, with other people. Um, and I'm sure everyone who is here today has shared a laugh or two of Zion. Um, and these few memories show the fruits of the Spirit um, through Zion. Uh, these same fruits or these qualities are exactly what is needed in a marriage. Uh, even though I've been married only for two years, I know that a lot of patience is needed in the marriage. Um, again, with, um, equal to that is other stuff like love, peace, joy, etc. Uh, so Zion, I encourage you to continue to be faithful in the Lord because only through him all things are possible. Whatever your goals or plans are, uh, seek the Lord first and he will bless you, with, uh, bless you both with what you need. Lily, uh, trust and know that God will lead your family into a fruitful direction. I wish you guys all the best with your marriage. May your foretell in the new. Uh, to finish off, I would like to make a toast, so everyone just raise your glasses, please. Cool. Even if it's empty, it's all good. To Zion and Lily. Round of applause for David Ryan, please, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Moving right along, our next speech of this evening comes from the groom's parents. Can you please make some noise for Jenkins and Vera Tessese? Shall I be first? All right. Welcome, everybody. It's just so nice to see such lovely people, lovely faces. And again, just like what Dave says, um, I just want to thank the Lord for everyone here. Um, I just want to thank him for his goodness and his steadfast love towards all us, um, to us all. And, um, and thank you to everyone here. Um, 
overseas relatives. And like me, um, you know, the struggle's real. I mean, I'm a working girl, so I had to apply for leave. Thank you to those who had to apply for leave. I mean, not only is it towards the end of the year, but, you know, a Wednesday. So thank you to those who actually took that time off um, for today. We just really appreciate your presence here, honouring us with your presence. Well done. Thank you so much. So um, just very, very little snippets of um, Zion's life. Um, I'll start off when he was a baby. Now, look, it's only a very, very short timeline, so no worries there. So when he was a baby, out of my five kids, he was the best one to sleep right throughout the night. He never gave me any problems. I didn't have to do any nighttime feeds, you know, in the middle of the night, that kind of stuff. He, he slept right through, you know, happy baby, happy mother, because I slept right through too. Roll on to kindergarten. And um, Zion, yeah, he was a little bit of a crybaby. You know, the waterworks was, you know, <laughs> he was because I would leave him and then, he'll, you know, the waterworks started to come. And, but, you know, I had this real kind of um, mother tough love thing going on. I just I kind of like left him there. But, you know, I'd come back to pick him up, good as gold. You know, he was just laughing and playing with the kids. So really, there was nothing to worry about. Um, high school, he was an all-rounder. You know, um, academically, Zion did really, really well. I had no problems there. Parent-teacher meetings, it was good, all good. He was very much involved in, um, you know, the cultural groups and very much a um, sports player. Um, he loved rugby league, and those activities carried him over to the, uh, his adult life as well. So he's very much involved um, with rugby even now. And of course, you know, we've got all those rugby friends here. Um, so as you know, Zion's middle name is Gabriel. So I've got a little very, very short, short story. Um, so we were in Samoa. This is several years ago. We are in Samoa. The whole family thing, we had a family reunion there. And um, we were in Vavau. And I, it was, you know, we were staying at a, um, these beach parties. So we were having a, a swim, me and you know, the family, and um, I remember I was talking to one of my brothers, then he headed off to shore, and um, I kind of like stayed behind a little bit, and then very, very steadily the water started to rise, came up to about here, and I'm thinking, oh, I better, you know, um, swim to shore. So I was, I was trying, I was frantically trying to flap my arms, you know, trying to do, uh, you know, to swim, to shore, and I couldn't, I wasn't moving, I was staying in the same spot. And I was thinking, oh my goodness, is this, is this, is this a rip? Is this what you call a rip? You know, you're not going anywhere when you're swimming. So I, was, I just remembered what I learned about rips, that you know, you have to sort of swim parallel to the ocean, um, I mean, to the ocean shore. And then, um, and then I heard my husband, Jenga, goes, swim to the rock, swim to the rock. And it was on that side, and I kind of like did a quarter turn, and I started to swim. And then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, somebody sort of like gently guided me to the, um, to where the rocks were, and that was Zion. And I was thinking, wow, you know, he was my hero that day. I don't think I've actually shared this with anyone, but um, Zion, yeah, you were my hero. He, um, he just sort of like gently guided me to the rock, and it just reminded me of Gabriel, because Gabriel is um, the strength of the Lord. It means protection. Um, uh, all of those really good qualities. Of course, you know, you know, angelic beings is nothing compared to, I mean, earthly people. But just the characteristics and, and just the nature of Zion, you know, just, just that. You now, he's a, a look, I, I, I may be biased, but look, he's my son. And um, he's awesome. He's an awesome guy. Um, he loves the Lord. I'm so grateful to God that I have a son that loves the Lord. And um, Lily, um, he couldn't have found a more loving, beautiful wife as Lily. Thank you, Lily, for choosing Zion. Um, you know, you two will make a great couple. Um, so I just wish you all the best. And if I may just offer just a little bit of tid tidbit of information, put God um, in the midst of everything that you you make you know, your every decision. You know, of course, there's going to be up and downs in marriage, and um, you know, raise voice here and there, disagreements. But look, you put God first, and 
hope, well, no, not hopefully, but things should, um, you know, steady on and work itself out. So, and, oh, yes, and, you know, I mean, you know your checklist? <laughs> yeah, have a new checklist now. <laughs> so, um, all the best for you, you two, and God bless you both. We love you, and I'm sure everybody here loves you. That's it for me. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure where to start from, but yeah. Um, 1975. I attended uh, one of the best schools in Auckland, Auckland Seventh day Adventist High School. My dad was uh, shocked one morning when he was summoned to the uh, principal's office. And I got suspended for two, e uh, two weeks. Little did I know. Back in 75, I didn't know that my brothers, my nephews and nieces, and our children will follow in my footsteps. <clears throat> um, fast forward to um, a few years ago, so after teaching at uh, Calston, he said he wanted to uh, apply for uh, um, a place at uh, Asla. Auckland Seventh Day Adventist High School. Thank you, uh, Gloria and uh, Jesse, for giving uh, Cyan a job. And uh, little did Cyan know that uh, he will meet uh, a um, young Tongan uh, princess at uh, Asda. Zion, he's a good boy, but he's not perfect. A couple of things that I wanted to share with you. I'm going to give uh, Lisa a list on uh, things that, you know, need to monitor Zion on. Yeah. <coughs> Zion will borrow a truck. He will take it. Full tank of uh, diesel when he returns at the night time, it's empty. <coughs> Zion has uh, inherited the grandfather's... Um, Toyota Corolla, 1980 or 1975 or something like that. When they uh, took it, I uh, took off, and the, uh, you know, I just nearly flipped over because, you know, the, the seat wasn't uh, bolted down, um, you know, <coughs> and the um, <coughs> mirror came off. I said to Zion, Zion, you need to sell your car. I mean, with a teacher's salary, I'm sure you can afford a, a, a decent car. But he would prefer driving his grandfather's car and save his money. So that's Zion. On the other hand, Zion is uh, our financial backer. He pays his board on time, sometimes ahead of time, and sometimes he will say, Dad, I've uh, added a little bit more. I say, keep it coming, bro. You know? <laughs> Lily, I've got some good news for you. You can take Zion tonight. Uh, Gloria. Same will redirect his uh, board to your account, but uh, keep the file of love coming to my account. Um, guys, like everybody's uh, <clears throat> giving you some advice, um, put God first. You know, sometimes you waste a lot of time on uh, arguing on uh, unimportant things. I know when God will bless you <clears throat> with a daughter or a son. I'm sure the uh, Tongan grandfather will say, let the boy play for Ikari Tahi or uh, Matama Tonga. The grandmother will say, oh, he can play for uh, the flying Fijians. And uh, gr Samoan grandmother will say, he can play for Manu Samo or Tor Samo. But the Samoan grandfather said, play for the old blacks. The Kiwis, why? Make more money. <laughs> So that's all I can say, but, you know, from our hearts, as well as uh, uh, Gloria and uh, Fini, we're so blessed to have uh, families and friends, you know, to be here tonight, just celebrate, you know, and thank you so much. That's it for me.
Thank you, um, Mr. Master, for the ceremony, for the, for the opportunity to speak. I come to speak on behalf of um, Zion's mother. Um, and uh, I think it's needless for me to say any further. It has been said by the Reverend for the Zion and Lily, and we do hope we wish you all the best uh, going forward in your future married life. There is a saying by the old ones that getting married is the easy part. Staying married is always difficult. But uh, I think the good reverend has spoken so much about God's grace. And we do pray that he keeps you in his grace and he keeps you in his arms and we would like to do two things we want to perform a salmon dance and before that we want to give you a little bit of money two thousand dollars where's the two thousand dollars with this envelope comes two thousand dollars for you to have a drink gum from the Anisi family of Vera's side. There's a there is a Samoan saying which goes like this which means may the coconut tree be fruitful and having many fruits and in your case slow it down by all means be fruitful but slow it down it's getting very expensive to raise a family these days yeah Ah, 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 ah,
One more round of applause for Zion's extended family, please, ladies and gentlemen. Um, just before we move on to our next item, I do believe dessert is ready to be served. Please feel free to help yourself. We're just going to keep rolling with our program. Also, before we move on, Vera, I just want to say big ups to you guys for still being able to hold a job. I know, no, 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 like in the sense where like, I know they've been trying to shift the retirement age, but you do still have a family to feed. And our parents in that, who migrated here, like in the early 80s and the 70s, to try and make a living for like myself, my siblings. And I say this with all due respect to my OGs, whose shoulders we stand on to be able to do stuff like this. So to my parents, to our parents, our grandparents, for putting your dreams on hold to make my dreams come true. I appreciate you guys and I salute you guys tonight. Please round of applause for our OGs, please. <laughs> Moving right along, ladies and gentlemen, a special item tonight, all the way from, uh, I don't even know where you go. All the way from Samoa, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Zion's Brothers. Ah 
Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Zion's brothers, please. Man, that was me. I thought they were going to take their shirts off or something. And then the, you know, there's ones where it, 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 it was like this, but nah, they, that, was, that, that was beautiful. That was, hey, one more time for Zion's brothers, please. Moving right along, ladies and gentlemen. Again, just letting you know, dessert is open. Please feel free to help yourselves. Our next speech for this evening comes from the bride's parents. Please put your hands together for Gloria and Fine Teulilo. Good evening, everyone. joy of the Lord is my strength. I'm a very simple man. Speech. My speech is going to be short. Listen, listen. Listen. It goes like this. May your struggles keep you near the cross. May your troubles show that you need God. May your battle, battles end the way they should. And may your bad days prove that God is good. 
and may your whole life prove that God is good. Thank you. I would like to say thank you to everyone who are here tonight because we value you. Your presence is, uh, tonight is important to us. Without your presence, we won't be able to make this event as a successful event. I'd like to um, say thank you to our catering. You know, they, they, don't, they don't cater anymore, but because we ask them a favor, and they're willing to do the food for tonight. Thank you. I'd like to say thank you to all my families from overseas. They make it tonight for this particular event. Thank you. Thank you so much for your sacrifices that you made to bring yourself and the members of your families to be here with us. And also Zion's family. I know that most of them come from overseas too. Everything is money. Money is a hard work. And I appreciate your, your time, your uh, sacrifice to be here with us tonight. Thank you. Zion, I don't have anything to say, but may God bless you and um, Nelise for the new family to come. Be pro prosper and be fruitful. That's what God said to us as a family. And um, Zion, welcome to our family. Welcome. Our family made of Indians, Chinese, um, European, Fijian, Nguyen, Tongan, and you name, name all of them. That's, that's our family. We are a small family, but we have the diversity of multicultural. And um, Zion, welcome. You're representing Samoa to our far now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Once upon a time, there lived a prince and a princess, and they met. You know those fairy tale stories? Well, that wasn't these two's. <laughs> because it started like this Mom, Zion's annoying what happened I was sitting in the car today and he walked past and he just threw a rugby ball at the windscreen at me I did nothing that's how it sort of started Mom, Zion teases me all the time and this is how it ended. <laughs> I think I like Zion. <laughs> Zion and Lily say, may God bless you. Zion, welcome to our family. As Fine has said, we have such a diversity in our little family. Right on this table here is my family, and you have um, my family. Tuvalu Kiribati sister, who Nelise is named after. She came all the way from Kiribati to be with us. You have my Indian family. You have my Chinese family. You have my Cook Island family. Th this right here is my, th they're my first cousins at this table. Thank you. You will be part of us. God bless you, and God bless everyone for being here. Really, really appreciate you being here. And we just would like to say thank you, my husband's whispering, to the quartet, uh, it was the quintet that played today. Um, it was lovely to see our Pacific Island young people, you know, playing and, and the music they played was fantastic. Um, we also have some representatives here from um, my workplace, the school, our, our board chair, our deputy board chair, our teachers. 
Thank you so much. We wanted to invite all the teachers, but we knew we couldn't stop school for a day. And half of you are here representing them, representing the other half. I hope you have had a good time this evening and tasted a little bit of the diversity that we are so blessed to be part of. And Nelisa and Zion, thank you. Thank you for putting God first. Continue to stay close to God. Malo Alpito. One more round of applause for the bride's parents, please. I'd like to welcome everybody to Asda's end of year Christmas do. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, big up to all the teachers in there. I'd like to say, I myself am a teacher. We're getting to the end of the year. I was already over it in term two, but I appreciate all the teachers especially all the teachers from South Auckland. I know it's hard, but shop for getting there. And welcome to all of South Auckland for you. She was naming all these ethnic, I was like, bro, that sounds like the Otara markets on a Saturday. Um, ladies and gentlemen, our next item also comes from this community. Please put your hands together for our wonderful bride of this evening. Deu, deu, fu. Que tu lo humo el upeta ua. Moela ione y mala ecula. Cajala jalea coufana. Ecolosije a caufacala. Ale, 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 ale,
One more time for our beautiful bride, ladies and gentlemen. Just before we move on to um, our next speech, just the, oh, not even a fact, here's a, here's a gem. If you witnessed during that dance, there were two young ladies that took a seat at Nelly's feet. The lady on the left on the yellow was my mum, and the lady on the right was her younger sister, Bebetu. Now in Tongan culture, and I'd assume it's the same in Samoan culture and anywhere in the Pacific, our sisters should be the apple of our eyes, regardless of what it is. So when the fact that our blood ties, or my blood ties, what Nelly says is that her grandma and my granddad are, are siblings. The reason why my mum and my auntie was on the ground was all due respect, was for the respect that my granddad had for her sister. And so in our Tongan hierarchy, or in, the way in, in, our, in our Tongan traditions, the men hold the power, but the women hold the rank. If you learn anything tonight about our Tongan culture, I hope it's that. That again, ladies and gentlemen, that the men hold the power, but the women hold the rank. And it was a beautiful scene that gets me teary and choked up every time. When it's done right, it's absolutely beautiful. So I just want to say big up my Auntie Pepe, my Auntie Vika as well, and also to my mum for paying that respect here on Earthside and beyond the grave as well. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, for our beautiful bride. Our next speech this evening, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our groom. Put your hands, clap for the groom, please. For her. If you could stand here, you'll, you'll just smile. It's a, it's a beautiful scene, seeing a lot of valuable people in one place. One thing I've, I've, I've enjoyed about today is just having good people in one place. You know, having family, having church members, having colleagues, um, just in one place. You know, besides the wedding and stuff, this is, that's the best part of my day is just to see everyone you know, when my brothers were dancing or when, when they were coming in, for me, it was really nice to see my boys, my, my older cousins as well, just to stand up 
It's like, you know, it's a, it's a way of supporting me and I, and I couldn't help but just take a photo of that because, you know, the people that are here, even ones that couldn't make it, even ones that I couldn't fit on the list, you know, they've played a part in, in who I am today. I'm sure there was a better word than boring that they could have used. So I'm sure I'm fun. But um, I can only just give it back to our Lord. You know, I always wonder, why didn't I get into certain things? And you could look at me as saying like, you know, that guy's a good fellow. You know, he doesn't do this, doesn't do that, doesn't do this. But in the grand scheme of things, when I go past and beyond all that and I, and I reflect back on my life, I can only say it's God's grace that he has been able to allow me to go through life. You know, these fellows over here, they're, you know, they're not the best role models, I'll tell you that. The fellow that said a speech at the beginning, Stedman, yeah, so he got us into so much trouble, that guy. And to say that, um, you know, I didn't get into much trouble, I can only credit it back to, you know, my Lord Jesus Christ, because I, I tell you that, it's amazing. It's amazing to serve such a great God. Uh, he's, he's so amazing to me. He's real to me. You know, it might be foreign that we uh, have no alcohol on our tables. That's why this whole table is down here, went down to the corner over there. But, you know, my, my wife now, hey. You know, both families thought it would be appropriate to have a dry wedding. You know, for, for us, it's, you know, just to show us that we are Christian. You know, we have something different that we don't, you know, partake in certain things. But, you know, we still love everyone the same. I want to thank Nalisa's parents, Gloria and, and Fine, um, just for allowing me to come and... Um, Hello. And just taking the hand of your daughter. You know, they only have one daughter, one son. And um, it's a huge thing, especially her father, Fine. You know, I respect him highly. He's such a hardworking man. He's the hardest working man that I know, this guy. Uh, always works, always providing. And if you meet him, please meet him today. He's a, he'll be one of the nicest men that you meet in your life, I tell you that. And Gloria... Um, she's my boss. <laughs> and Elisa is my boss, maybe. Um, yeah, like uh, my father said, uh, six, year, six years ago when I started teaching at Azza, I would have never thought that I would um, be marrying the, the principal's daughter. I tell you, this is honestly the truth. I chucked the ball at her car for a laugh. It wasn't for anything else. I wasn't for any to get her attention. Every time I mocked her, it was just purely just to make, make my day like more fun. <laughs> Hello. And I tell you the truth, she actually hated me, like hated me, hated me. And I don't blame her because, I don't know, some of my jokes are not, they're funny to me, funny to my boys, but to everyone else is quite rude um, but you know she, she loves me now and um, I just want to say thank you to her brother you see her brother standing on the on the chair that was funny and fun and uh, Eugene Grace and the kids and I thank you also for accepting me into the family uh, and um, just everyone that is here uh, today, Gloria's family, Finney's family, also want to acknowledge my family as well, my boys that are here, my colleagues. I just love it, my, my other Tessie family. It's just, yeah, just something that I could. I tell you, she first met me and she goes, what is your picture of a beautiful wedding? I go, mate, I'm going straight to the office for a wedding. Because that's just like they um, explained, you know, I'm just not a fun person. And their dance, their dance when we walked in is because of uh, Nelise. She knew that I couldn't walk in and do all this fist pumping and all that kind of stuff. 
So she suggested that we do that because she was looking out for me, and I'm thankful for that. Because if you saw my older brother at the back <laughs> that just walked in like he had no life in him. <laughs> my Lord Jads. Yeah, I would have... I wouldn't have been uh, much different to that, to be honest. So thank you, my beautiful wife, for, for that. Um, I want to acknowledge my parents as well. Um, yeah, just, you know, life, life has uh, been hard, but it allows you to grow. It allows you to grow, and, and here am I today. Just thankful for my parents, always providing, always being there, always allowing me to do certain things. And just uh, being able to support them in, in such a way. Um, yeah. I also, I want to acknowledge uh, Maria. Maria, she was the one that helped organize everything today. So can we just give a hand for Maria? Oh, thank you, Maria. Yeah, everything that you see today, she, she uh, helped, it, uh, helped to make it possible. Uh, hopefully you guys had fun. Lastly, I just want to acknowledge, oh, well, actually two things. My best man and the maid of honor, thank you for being a part of our day. Also, our line, thank you as well for just being there with, for us. And my beautiful wife, that's us, eh? Dolly. <laughs> Bible studies tonight. <laughs> now to my beautiful wife. Yeah, thank you for honestly my, my vows was was it, you know, like honestly if, it, if you've seen my car and she steps in my car every single day, doesn't complain, you know, it shows the character that she has. <laughs> my car's just like my car's embarrassing, but uh yeah. Yeah, thank you for always loving me the way that I am. Honestly, when I say that in a picture I'm the black and white and she's the color, it literally is that. Like, look, black and white. Um, because I'm just the same every single day, always the same. But she's the life. She brings out the best in me. Uh, I don't want to dance. I don't like dancing. But, you know, sometimes she'll tell me to get up. You know, dance, not often, but I'm going to try. That's part of my vows. So like I said, I'm going to try. Um, she introduced me to like TikTok dances and stuff, right? I, mean, I don't like TikTok, but like I said, I'll try for her. Um, yeah, I just, I just want to try. And at least it's the best thing. She's my best friend, honestly. It's just great, you know, like. You always think that you're going to get to this place, but when you're actually here and you actually have your wife, you're just so grateful. It's, it's an amazing feeling. I've had so much fun. You know, before this, people ask me, are you looking forward to your wedding? I said, no, nah, not really. And I was telling the truth because I wasn't really. But um, I've had so much fun today. My wife is like a big part of that. And I just can't, honestly, I can't wait to live the rest of my life with you. I honestly can't wait, you know. We travel, travel, you know, just to pray together, read the word together, explore together, um, have fun together. Um, pray for my boys over here together. Amen. But just all that, I just can't wait to can't wait to do all that with you. I'm going to ask her. Yes. I'm going to ask her to sing with me. Amen. Lily, 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 Lily.
Uh, just a disclaimer, we are not singers. <laughs> um, like the rest of his family and my family, um, so please don't expect anything. to find your lyrics please turn your phones off please <laughs> literally <laughs> don't want to be reminded of this Honestly, if you know the song, can you sing with us? <laughs> One more time for our groom, ladies and gentlemen, and this lovely bride. I was just telling them that that was a good segue because that was their item that was meant to be after his speech. Coming right up, I do believe, is the cutting of our cake. Um, I think this is a photo opportunity for anybody who's wanting photos and stuff for the cake cutting. I don't, I don't know, bro. <laughs> Sorry, you're looking. I don't, I don't know. I usually just bite the top part. I found love in you. And I've learned to love me too. And then you grab a piece. Never have I felt that I could be all that you see. It's like our hearts have intertwined. 
Round of applause for our bride and broom, please, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I love you. Ooh, this is why I love you. Because you love me. I really love this song. I love this song. You love our next speech of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together for the new Mrs. Tessis. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, <laughs> sorry, the kids, parents. <laughs> no, they're okay. Um, well, thank you so much for coming. I know it's been a night full of speeches and everybody's probably already tired of hearing everyone talk, so I'm gonna keep it short and sweet tonight. Uh, firstly, I'd like to reintroduce myself. My name is Nelisa Tersese. <laughs> um, yeah. And I'm um, super grateful and honored to have every single one of you here tonight. Um, for some of you, this may be the first time that I'm meeting you, um, but I just want to thank you for being part of Zion's life and his journey um, and championing him into the man he is today. I know that I've only spent four years with him, um, but all of you have spent 26 years with him. So um, thank you for, yeah, just making him who he is, the boring, plain guy that I wouldn't trade for anyone else. Um, I would just like to thank, firstly, Maria, as Zion said, um, she put, all of this together. Um, I only gave her my vision and she brought everything to life. So thank you, Auntie Maria. Um, we're super, super grateful. Yeah. Spending hours and hours um, into the decorations. So yeah, it's, it's really great. Um, I also want to thank Zion's family for coming overseas. Um, his Tessese Ainga for coming overseas and also his Anisi Ainga for being here as well. Um, thank you for accepting me and allowing me to take your last name. It's a great privilege and honor to wear this last name, and I'm really looking forward to this new journey. I'd also like to thank Zion's parents, Vera and Jenkins. Thank you for um, <laughs> letting him come home at 4 a.m. <laughs> when we were first dating and not questioning him. Um, I know he said he had so many Bible studies with his principal, so... Four years later, here we are. <laughs> um, I also want to thank his friends for coming as well. You know, you've molded him into part of who he is. Um, rugby is almost bigger than me, so thank you for that. Um, it's really cool to, to see that part of his life over here. And, um, yeah, I just want to yeah, thank Zion as well for being the rock that he is through everything his church family as well i want to say thank you for coming out as well it's really nice to see you um and before the night ends i would like to thank my bridesmaids the groomsmen and my maid of honor for coming all the way from australia as well i'm super super grateful to have you my family from fiji australia and tonga um, my fahu here tonight i'm so thankful for your presence in my life I look around and I see the merging of so many families and it's a beautiful effect. It really is. And lastly, I would really like to thank my family. That little monkey running around, <laughs> making noise. She's my family. Um, my brother's daughter. I'd like to thank my parents. For the countless hours. This year I graduated. Um, I <laughs> did further study postgraduate. Then I landed my first job and my parents took care of everything for the wedding. They didn't even want me to stress. I didn't pay a single dime for anything. And so, mum and dad, I came into this world 
as a teal lilo and I will always wear it proudly no matter what my last name changes into so I'm so thankful and also to my brother and Grace I'm so thankful for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I'm so thankful. I only have one brother in this world. And so if anything is off with us two, it feels like the whole world is off. And so that means I only gained one sister from my brother's side. And so I just want to say thank you, Gugs and Grace, for being here. And for letting Miyako to walk, it means the absolute world to me. And so tonight was just the ending of thank yous. Thank you to everybody. Thank you to Zion for being you and driving the car that you drive. It's honestly actually my favorite car, even though it's like old and raggedy. Like it's, it's still my favorite car. So thank you guys. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you for celebrating us. And we love you guys. And we can't wait to come around and say thank you personally. Fatu. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for our bride, please. Two. Ah, there we go. Now, ladies and gentlemen. We've come to the end of our formalities. We're going to finish it off like this. Can I please introduce to you the new Mr. and Mrs. Zion and Nelise Tesese. One more time for the new Mr. and Mrs. Tessese, ladies and gentlemen. I love that song. That song is amazing. Just before we finish up for the evening, ladies and gentlemen, I know it's late. I know it's late. I got a couple thank yous myself. I'd like to say thank you to Charlotte from Flock for the tables and the chairs. I'd also like to thank Eddie Taylor from Let's Celebrate for the cutlery and crockery. Sipali from Mangere Florist for the flowers. Our caterers, please, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Tapu Catering. 
If you need them to cater for your Christmas functions, please let them know. They can sort it out. I'm just throwing it out there. They're probably busy, but if you get bounced, that's on you. I'd also like to thank Charlotte Cullen from Bluebell's Cakery for the cake. Absolutely lovely cake. Um, uh, Sherry from Rebel in Light for the luxury candles. And also like to thank the people of St. Matthew's in the city for this beautiful cathedral that we're in tonight. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, our selector for this evening, please make some noise for DJ 651's on our, 651 on our decks, ladies and gentlemen. Again, thank you all for coming through this evening. My name is Silsaya Williams Falau, and if you need a MC or a celebrant for your wedding, please let me know. My email is at the back of the program. <laughs> That's not, but it's been a, it's been awesome hosting you guys for the rematch of Tor Samoa and Matematonga, as well as the parties as well. Appreciate you guys. To wrap us up this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Can I please ask Ailoilo Elise Puni to come up and finish us off? He's done a fantastic job in running this celebration event smoothly. Give him a hand. He's done a great job. MC, thank you very much. caterers, please give them a hand. For all the entertainers, the hopeful to be stars, for the singers, as well as the performers tonight that has made our evening very colorful, give them a hand. The narrative of oratory goes something like this. Translation. It means or says that the goal, the hope, the dream, and the vision for this day, it is now a tree of life. Zion and Nelise. Tree of Life, I've been listening to the narrative and what you have been sharing in terms of your pledging to each other. Elisa used the term, a new beginning, a new dawn. This is your new dawn. We'd like to thank you first and foremost for inviting all of us to this occasion. All of you who are here are significant to them. And so tonight, this is our village. They say that it takes a village to raise a child. And indeed, you are the village for Nelise as well as Sain. To you, the village, thank you very much. The narrative also goes that, if I understand correctly, my role is on behalf of the families to say thank you to all of you. And on that note, you can actually ask, who are the families who are here? So from Nelisa's side, Gloria, I believe that the family from Fiji, from Suva, the Singh family, from Singatoka, the Knowles family, and in between the Chinese, as well as the Kiripas. Can I ask this family of glory to please stand so that we can acknowledge you this evening? From Fiji, the beautiful island of Fiji, the Singh, the Nose, and in between, please stand. This is one of our families. Thank you. You may take your seat. Tonight, each family or families have come separately, independently, but when we leave tonight, we are part of our inter international inter-Pacific family. 
for Phoenix family from uh, Hapai, the Tohi family from Hapai, Lofanga Hapai. Can you please stand? Tohi family from Hapai, please stand. A very good evening to you. Please stand. Maloelele, please sit it. The Teulilo family from Utui, Vavau, can you please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the Teulilo family. Thank you. Again, as I said, we've talked about families, we've talked about coming together, and when we live tonight, we're family, the extended family. To various families, Zion, through various family, uh, from Fali Lima and Tuamua, my Lord, for your favor, can you please stand? Various family, ladies and gentlemen, please take your seat. There is a special grandmother that is here, 93 years of age, and she has been participating and enjoying the ceremony, science grandmother Emu, give her a hand. And all the grandmothers and our parents, as the MC correctly noted, that they are the shoulders of giants in which the next generation stand. To the Tesese family uh, from Tanga, as well as from Samatau, Tesese, Puni, Pau, that family, can you please stand? Thank you, take your seat. So when I say that I am speaking on behalf of these families, we know who these families are. But may I also say that there are Many other families, they say that the roots of the human tree are far more than the roots of the giant trees of the forest. And if there's any other interconnected families that I have not mentioned, I apologize, but I do acknowledge that this is a tapestry of interconnectedness in terms of our relationships and families this evening. On that note, I am going to go. You know, our uh, speeches like this is a bit like playing golf. For you who know how to play golf, the setup is so important. So I'm trying to set up, but at the end of it, I've got four magic words that I need to deliver. Thank you very much. And so if I lose you in the route, the Pacific route, and the setup from the front nine to the last nine, the words are thank you very much. But let me start by saying we thank you, Zion and uh, Nelise, for your wedding uh, party, the uh, maid of honor, your best man in your line, for getting these two ready and for supporting them. We thank you. Give them a hand, please. <laughs> the musicians who played earlier, if you are in the house, but if not, let's also acknowledge the musicians who participated not only at the beginning, but right throughout our session. To the parents, here's the thing. You might say that we are saying the same thing, but we are saying it from different platforms. This is the platforms of now the big families to say thank you. Pastor uh, Joe DeSese, what a beautiful service. Give him a hand. Thank you very much. Zion in the service, uh, this word boring keep coming up. For me, I remind them that they got it wrong. The word is stable. You provide stability, man. The word is prudence. And the word is astuteness, not boring. They say that in gatherings like this, if the food is not good, then people come and go the Pacific way. But tonight we've certainly enjoyed the food and I've already said give them a hand, but again, can I acknowledge the caterers for their wonderful job tonight. 
the oratory then goes and says that ole famu mbuenga fau yao fau ipo le uka ko aso mungingo yai and translated this vision goal has taken nights and days weeks and months and years in the making now i know why nelisa had a checklist and she had a checklist and it took a little bit of time for her to be convinced but i'm glad that she's convinced nelisa and in zion god bless in terms of your future together may i then extend that notion ladies and gentlemen we are now the new village to care to love to protect and to cheer them on and i'm going to finish it and not just with the four words but the five words now thank you very 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 much to you all for celebrating this occasion my job behalf of the families wishing you a merry christmas wishing you too the best for the future so forth to life man what a beautiful speech he sarmons man that's why you guys are kings of the oratory when it's done right it's such a beautiful thing man the culture stuff ladies and gentlemen to finish us off this evening the same man who started us off please put your hands together for pastor yosefa tsesi if you could just uh tap the person even to go away just tap the person next to you okay very good please stand let's stand everybody stand very good if you got any smiles left just smile to the people around you just before we pray if you could just smile to the people around you very good very good let's pray God you are good and your mercies endure forever. We prayed long and hard for this day and once again you've come through for us. So all glory and honor to you Father God. But we pray for the next steps the steps together for Zion and Lily. Bless us all tonight and as we go our homeward way we pray for your blessings and your protection in Jesus name and everybody said amen all right ladies and gentlemen that is us for the evening the bride and groom will love to let you know that there is plenty of dessert to help yourself to the flower bouquets that are in the middle of the table please feel free to take them home take a bunch if you're trying to get married next and drop the hint take them we have flowers over here up in the front and on the pillars please feel free to take a bouquet of flowers other than that ladies and gentlemen please safe travels back home to wherever home is happy holidays to everybody god bless you good night dj 651 run the tune
Suena rap, rap, scooby doo pop, pop, y el pum, 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 y el pum, 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 scooby doo pop, pop, y el pum, 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 Them two and away from the town, all away from the town. Okay, Forget out, stand up, you keen to be the one who first out, first out. Mm-hmm. All away to a thou who from a pier, now that's what's up. Wow.
Drums of the islands are beating 